Welcome to the workshop. Welcome back. Overnight, I glued on the planing rail at the back of the planing board. I've actually realised it would be easier for you if you were to fit the planing stop before gluing on the planing rail. Another thing to mention is I've made my planing board slightly smaller than the dimensions in the model and therefore I will be attaching my planing stop a little bit further forward to give myself sufficient capacity. Now the first thing we need to do is create a dovetail slot for the planing stop. To mark out for the dovetail for the planing stop we're using our engineer's square setting it off the back of the board where the plane will be travelling and using a marking knife. We'll mark score one line on one side of the, the dovetail slot and then we'll gauge how wide we want it to be from the piece of cherry that I'm now going to use for my stop. And I mark out the second line. To make starting the cut a bit easier I'm using a bevel edge chisel just to remove a little bit of material up to the scored marking line. This leaves a little shoulder against which to rest the saw. With the leg slid out of the way it's easy to mark for the dovetail. And now we can use our marking gauge to mark the depth for the dovetail. And now we can cut the dovetails. Cutting right to the line this time using the shoulder we created and being careful to keep the right angle Now we can hog out the middle of the slot. I cut some extra saw slots in there and I'm using a chisel now. And then we can move on and use a router plane to get a nice finish to the bottom of the groove. And now we've finished the slot. To cut the dovetail on the planing stop, we first clamp it onto the planing board and we've used the marking gauge to mark the depth of the dovetail. And now we'll just use a chisel to remove a little bit of waste and create a shoulder to run the saw up against. Now we're able to saw uh, on the end away from the clamp and once we've done that we can then clamp from the other end and finish our sawing on what is the, the right hand side as you view it here. Sawing the slope side of the dovetail is a lot easier as we have enough space to clamp it away from the saw line. With some careful sawing eventually the waste will break free and then we can clean up the edges of the dovetail with some chisels and planes. My homemade shoulder plane makes short work of cleaning up both the beveled side and the flat side of the dovetail.
although to get right up into the corners we have to revert to the chisel again using the planed surface as a reference and just taking out a little bit of waste in the corner. With the plane stop fitted a little use of a block plane will clean up the end nicely. Turning our attention to the vise here I am drilling a hole two inches in from both ends. I clamp the vise jaw to the planing bench and transfer the hole position. Having removed the vise jaw we can now drill down to the required depth in the planing jaw. Now to mark for the nut position we transfer the centre of our vice screw holes down the front of the board and along the underside. With the vice jaw temporarily inserted with a spacer to give us our maximum opening capacity, we use a spare bolt with the nut attached to mark out the position of the nut when the vise is open. Now I can drill a hole where we need to mortise for the nut. Now I can complete the square mortise for the nut using chisels. Once completed the vise screws work fine. So our Japanese planing board is coming along really well. We have the front vise working and we also have our planing stop for planing and shooting small pieces. All we have to do now is put the saw stops on the end. 